Hey y'all, my name is Maddie McKay and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, hello. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Y'all already know what's good, you know who I am and what I'm about. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to be a baddie. But on a bad budget. Okay, so everybody wants to look good. I don't care what nobody says, everybody wants to look good and feel good. You know what I'm saying? But not all of us have the cash to live the lifestyle that we want to live. But I'm gonna teach you how to fake it till you make it. So make sure you stay tuned into this video for some really helpful tips. And if you're not already subscribed, do that right now. Like, like right now. Like, I, I mean, I'm waiting. Come on, subscribe. Alright, so our first stop on learning how to become a baddie on a budget is to figure out where to even find your clothes. So we all know it's essential to have good clothes if you want to look good, right? Right? So if you want to stay true to the latest fashions or whatever things you like, I would suggest stopping by your local thrift store first. Now I know that seems kind of obvious, but some people don't really know how to look. Because people go in and you don't really see too much. You see a bunch of old clothes and you don't really pay attention and you leave because you're frustrated. However, stay dedicated to it. Stay in there. You're going to find something. Some of my cutest clothes have come from thrift stores. Like this shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is a vintage polo shirt and I got it for literally $2. $2 at a thrift store close to my campus. And if you know where Wash U is, then I'm talking about Avalon on the Del Mar Loop. So if you're in the St. Louis area, go check them out. But they're also really great thrift stores. But if you're not from around here, be sure to check your local Goodwill and stuff like that. You can always find really good deals, really cute clothes for under $10. And a lot of times they're just old name brand stuff that people just don't want to wear anymore. So jump on it go get some thrift store clothes also i know that the spamming texts and emails are annoying but be sure to sign up for fashion nova and boohoo for their coupon codes because they're almost always texting and emailing about discounts and i'm not just talking about 20 percent off i'm talking between 50 and 90 percent off up to 90% off and you mean to tell me you don't want to sign up? Brands also have really great clearances too so I know that Fashion Nova and ASOS and Boohoo in particular those three they always have really good clearance clothes and I always can check online and google like Fashion Nova coupon code and they're going to be right there. So it's honestly just a matter of reaching out trying it and signing up for these things and you can find some really great deals after you get past that. And also, I don't know if many people know this. Well, some people know this, but if you didn't, I'm gonna put you on game. So, Fashion Nova and Rainbow have the same clothing. <laughs> but for cheaper prices at Rainbow. Now, a lot of people think that Rainbow has like low quality things and all that stuff. Look, the same dress that you are willing to spend $30 on Fashion Nova 4, you can literally get it at Rainbow for $12.99. Thank me later. If you can't find what you want on Fashion Nova for the prices you want, go check Rainbow. Now, so now that we've tackled where to get the clothing from, where you get your drip from, we're going to talk about makeup. You know how lately all of the latest celebrities and influencers have been popping out with some really, really, really amazing mink lashes. And I love lashes so much, but I don't have mink lash money. So something that I've started doing is going to my local beauty supply store. Now a lot of people sleep on these stores, but they have some really great deals. My lashes that I have on right now costed me $1.99. You see that? $1.99. $1.99. Other really good beauty supply store lashes that I have found that I like that look just like the high quality mink ones that your favorite influencer and your favorite makeup artist have been using on Instagram. These right here. They cost $2.99. And these are so pretty. They're so long, really high quality. And these are called, the brand is 
Eben New York, Eben New York. I don't know, but I know that they are $2.99, really under $3. You can go from basic to baddie with lashes like these. And you can look like your favorite influencer. You can look like Jackie Ina. You know her lashes are always beautiful. You can look like her for $2.99. $2.99. So a great place to check for makeup is your local beauty supply store. I know. I know. A lot of it's not the best quality. It's not gonna be Estee Lauder. I'm sorry. But we're talking about on a budget here. A lot of people sleep on what's at the local beauty supply store. A lot of times they sell high quality brands such as NYX and stuff for very cheap prices. The same things that you would find in Walmart or Walgreens. Other drugstore brands are at your local beauty supply store for often like three times cheaper. Just just throwing that out there. Also know that all of the baddest girls stay having their nails done. Full sets every two weeks. I can't keep up. My wallet is crying, okay? But I found an alternative. You could have nails like these, like this. Like I, it looks like I just got a full set for under $10. And you wanna know how? Amazon. I got these false press on nails for literally around $7. I have 500 nails. I can do my nails whenever I want, however I want, at home. At home for free. For just one small investment of $7 for 500 nails. And my nails look like this. Ignore my middle finger, my nail is just crooked. It's, it, my hand's crooked, it's not the nail. So, I got these from Amazon and these are the long ballerina shaped nails. And I'll drop the links to these down below. So, they're just clear little press-ons and I don't think it's gonna focus on this, so I'm just gonna, you can't even see the nail. But they're uh, clear press-ons and I'm telling you, honey, I got these and they've changed my life. My nails are so long and so pretty and everybody's been complimenting them. They're wondering what color I used. I used Essie in the shade Cliffhanger. It's so cute, perfect nude, especially for darker skin women, just very cute. And I also got this for $6 on Amazon too. So I will also drop the link to that down below. You have nails like these for seven dollars now these will not last forever these aren't real acrylic again we're baddies on a budget so it's not gonna last forever but it gets the job done if you need to go somewhere real quick pop these on paint them whatever color you like and go on by your day that's it that's all also speaking of Amazon if you are a broke college student such as myself a lot of people don't know but Amazon offers six months of free Amazon Prime to college students. Six months of free Amazon Prime for college students. So I'm gonna drop that link down below too. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. So the final and most important tip on how to be a baddie on a bad budget is to just have confidence. Now, this item is free, yet it is still one of the hardest to get. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm telling you, when you're feeling yourself, when you're confident and happy in yourself, you won't need to have your nails done every two weeks. You won't need lashes and full extensions. You won't need your hair done. You don't even need the latest drip. You just have to be happy in yourself. And when you're confident, you can literally go outside wearing a whole beat up tank top and people will still look at you and admire you. That's it. That's all that's it. When you are truly a baddie, you feel it. It's inside of you. It's nothing that's on the outside, it's inside of you. And I believe in you, and I know. I know, you look good without all the rest of the stuff. I mean, still use these hacks because they're helpful. But all I'm saying is you don't need any of that stuff. You can be the baddest on the block 
if you think so if you think so then you if you think you're the baddest then you are automatically the baddest you don't even need any of that you don't you don't need any of that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video those are just a few tips on how to be a baddie on a budget if you have any other tips be sure to drop them down below in the comments section and i'll be sure to check those out and share them be sure to follow me on instagram reach out to me i love interacting with people so yeah that's that's all i have for today's video Bye!